Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I'm excited just to show you an overview of everything Creative Cloud has to offer. Now notice I'm starting out here in the browser under the files tab. You can see all these various files. I have uh, PSD files, I have a PDF file, I have Illustrator files, I even have an InDesign file in here that I can sync to the Creative Cloud. And well, how did I do that? It's a matter of grabbing that file, dragging it into the browser, and I can sync it directly to Creative Cloud. Again, could be a PSD, could be an Illustrator file. I'll get that rendering right away in my browser. And from there, I can select that file. I can get some more information on it. I can clearly see it. And it's nice that I can send it to anybody I want. They don't need to be a Creative Cloud member to uh, see the file. They don't even need to have Illustrator. They see it right in the browser. In fact, they can also comment on it as well. Okay, so that's what I can do. But really, how is this file created? Well, it's created with Illustrator. So the first thing you're probably going to do is jump into the Download Center and download the apps that you want and notice as a Creative Cloud member you get access to all of the apps as you can see right in here and I can scroll through the many ones but I can really just sort by graphic design if I want to so I can check out and see what Muse is all about I can read about it in fact right down here as I scroll down I can learn about Adobe Muse okay I have training on Adobe Muse we've added hundreds of uh, videos that you can view just to select the learning tab right there but really what I want to do is just I want to install it okay so I'm just gonna click download right here in the browser and what it does is it will first install Creative Cloud for my desktop okay so right up here it installs this right in my menu bar okay so you can see it installs it in fact it'll start installing this particular app and from there I can even install additional apps I don't need to keep going to the browser I can install say After Effects if I want to and not only that going into say Photoshop if there's an update to Photoshop because chances are there probably will as a Creative Cloud member it will actually notify me right in here but Creative Cloud has more to offer as well in fact as I go into the home tab right here you can see all of this information and this is my activity feed so I can see certain people have followed my work on Behance and I've installed various apps so once Muse gets installed it will appear right here in my activity feed okay I can go into the files tab right in here and this is coming soon the ability to sync my files from the desktop to Creative Cloud making them available anywhere as well we also have the same thing for fonts being able to sync my typekit fonts to my desktop using my typekit fonts on my desktop very exciting again you can learn more just by uh, selecting tell me more but really I want to dive into the Behance tab because right in here you can see uh, the people that have appreciated my work which was also in that activity feed on the home tab but I can scroll down and check out this activity going on I can check out my work in Behance again I don't have to go to the browser to do any of this I can see what it's looking like in fact I even have inspiration right on my desktop because I can discover new work I can select illustration and get uh, just a, a ton of cool illustration examples just to get me inspired and if I am looking for something in particular I can jump in here and just do a search on it like I'm doing right now so I can get inspired but really I can also add work from my desktop as well so if I select add work it will launch a browser and add a work in progress or even a project but really I don't need to worry about going into my browser to see feedback on this particular work in progress because it's all right on my desktop you can see that's all in my activity stream right in here but really I can control what's in my activity stream and really preferences in general so if I dive into preferences you can see I can show the Mac OS notifications so when somebody does start following me or maybe comments on my work then I can see that but I can also control that say by Behance controlling what I see in my home feed and same thing for apps so I can control my preferences all from the 
uh, preferences menu. In fact, what I can do is I can open up this entire thing as a window if I want to and work that way. Now that is Creative Cloud for your desktop, having inspiration at your fingertips, being able to install what you want. Keep an eye out because more is coming uh, to Creative Cloud as well. So stay tuned.